What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Austin with FTM Alerts, and welcome to Phantom Unchained, Episode 8, live from Phantom DC. With me, as always, is my wonderful co-host, who's apparently sporting a do-rag today, $24. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm live from good, Canada. Man. Not live look- from Abu Dhabi, but, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, we also have uh, Daniel from Yoshi Exchange. Daniel, what's happening, yeah. my friend? Just met you here at the conference. And with me, as always, yeah. a man who I, I kind of feel like is my co-host, right? Simone Pomposi from the Phantom Foundation. Simone, what's up, buddy? Hey, Austin. Always a pleasure. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, all right. And Beavis is going to join us for all the girls in the audience who love Justin Beavis. He had to run out and get a coffee. You remember last week, his hair was all stuck up and, you know, he looked like he just rolled out of bed. So, all right, we are going to, we're going to get us some Beavis here in a minute. Um, Hopefully. All right. So just so that you guys know, three out of the four people on the screen are using hotel internet right now. So if anyone drops off, we'll probably be right back. Just hang with us, right? Hang with us. All right. So we have a lot to talk about today. I don't know if you guys saw it, uh, if you guys watch Ran, Ran's show, Crypto Banter. Uh, Harry just did a live stream with Ran from, uh, from the stage here, right in the other room. And so I'm going to kind of go off the top of my head. His, his words were, anything priced against Phantom is a really good deal today, right? There's a, there's a big announcement coming, coming, and anything priced against Phantom is a big deal today, right? So, all right, I have you know, I have refrained from talking about the coming announcement because I kind of feel like what that does is it sets us up for a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event. I really don't want that to be the case, right? Um, We just saw like a 45 cent move on Phantom after Harry started talking. And uh, well, you know, Harry has the ability to do stuff like that, right? (laughs) I don't, I don't. What do you guys think about this, man? You guys, you guys have any alpha on like what's happening, what's coming along? I've heard everything from Elon Musk to, you know, CZ and everyone in between. (laughs) Who wants it? Well, Simone, I do I'm have the alpha, you, man. but yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Like, Simone knows. He really knows. Like, yeah, of co- he's of right here, know. you know? Of course I know, but I, you know, I, of course I would never tell uh, anything about it. Um, yeah, that, that's all I can say. And the, the only thing, I mean, the, without talking about prices, you know, it's not really uh, what matters here. But I would say, generally speaking, uh, I was talking to someone today that brought up a really good point. There was, uh, you know, Phantom has um, its own market cap, right? There's around, I don't know, 7 billion right now. So for now, that's sort of the ceiling of any project, right? Because any project that is building on Phantom can't, you know, theoretically be more than 7 billion. So, um, so of course, with incre- with increase, the potential increase of Phantom market cap, not now, of course, not in the next couple of days or next week, but, you know, next few years, we could see something like, uh ethereum right so that uh billion dollar projects built on phantom okay all right all right this is not you know this is not the alpha by the way it's just my, <laughs> <laughs> my my way of shifting away from you know harry's potential uh you know pre-announcement of what's about to come and you know shift away a little bit from the price discussion so i i was hanging out with uh a couple of people that are in the know right one of them uh, it was Harry's general counsel. We were hanging out last night and he got an email and I could share this with you. The dude was almost bursting out of his skin with excitement. Like he, he refused to share anything with us as much as we were poking and prodding at him. But the people that know what's coming are excited about what's coming. Right. So I'll just say that. Um, yeah. So, you know, anything paired against phantom, according to Harry is a good deal today. Right. And he specifically mentioned just zoo spirit boo you know, ecosystem tokens, right? Yoshi, Yoshi's going to be a whale. We're going to get to you in just a second, man. Um, All right, let's keep going. So the developer conference, right? People want to, people totally want to hear about this. Like I have never had so much engagement on social. Like if you go to like my (laughs) Facebook, which I don't really use town, it's like crickets, right? Nobody, I have no, no one talks to me on Facebook in real life, right? But in this whole fake world that we live in, in crypto world, uh, dude, Things got a little ape shit yesterday and the day before and the day before because of Phantom DC, right? So I think one thing I want to tell people that's super duper important, right? People are watching the conference and they're saying, when's that alpha going to drop? When's that big alpha going to drop? But but the alpha is, now there probably will be, but 
the alpha that's actually happening is a much more intangible one. And what it is, it's the 30 people that I got to meet, right? That was my experience that I got to connect with and start synergizing and collaborating with in person. Now, I'm not the only one. Everyone that's here got that same experience. So what's going to happen is three months, six months from now, everyone watching and everyone in the phantom ecosystem is going to benefit from this event, right? It's not going to be a, a one-time pump the price type of thing, but it's going to be an ecosystem growth that is, we're going to, we're going to see dividends paid from this, right? Do you guys have any opinions on that? Yeah, maybe I will say a word. Hi, hi. my name is Daniel. I'm from Yoshi.exchange. Uh, I think all the people uh, got used to this uh, COVID-19 stuff when all of the people are using video conferences, uh, Zooms, uh, Google Meets. And now when we are able to meet in person to, for such a long time uh, and uh, we have ability to talk, to discuss things, not only like two hours per day, like we have a five days uh, total engagement with each other, with project, we have some insight. And today when I've met Austin from FTM Alerts for the first time, we were just like, uh, dude, uh, like this Phantom DC conference are uniting people from the Phantom ecosystem because we are sitting somewhere worldwide and now we're all here in one hotel, in one uh, uh, developing room because we were sitting there. And uh, that was a great experience. So I think that uh, Phantom DC is just the first step of building their whole new um ecosystem uh, not only online but uh, this offline stuff so. honestly hearing how the developers and you guys are kind of getting along and, and and integrating with each other it, it's awesome to hear and and just talking like obviously you, you guys can't say anything specifically about what's coming to phantom but you can read between the lines viewers like they're talking about uh harry saying projects priced against phantom is a good deal today. And Simone saying the market cap of Phantom is going to be holding back projects but in the near, like in the future. Like it's 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 a good buy. I haven't been disappointed by the foundation once. You know, like in terms of actually purchasing and being a long term user, it's just when they're talking and they're really saying that something big is coming, and they don't really want to let you guys in too early. I, I would just take that as a fact and, and load my bags. You can see the chart on the daily. People have been loading. Something's probably coming, but. Bro, you're pumping today, aren't you? 24, my God, man. Come on, you must have been hanging out with Harry. You must. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I can, we can all feel it in the air. It's been like this uh, for a while, so. Yeah, we're excited. Simone, what do you got, man? Yeah, man. So, so something that really doesn't come through for people that are not here, it's exactly what you guys just said, right? So this this developer conference is really a, um, I don't know, it's it feels nice, right? So the people that are here, I mean, the spirit swap guys are amazing. You know, it really feels that we've all known each other for such a long time. And honestly, I mean, tomorrow is gonna be even better, you know, with uh, more people coming, you know, screen guys you mentioned earlier and, um, and uh, Dr. Liquid as well. So it really feels like, uh, actually, you said this, Austin, right? So, sort of, um, I, I don't know, something high school reunion or something like that, or you along those something along those lines. But there, there's really an energy in in this um, conference that I haven't seen in other, in other conferences, right? I've been to Consensus in New York. I've been to another couple of events in New York with way more people or even less people. Uh, but there, there's something special here. So. What I see in the, in the Phantom ecosystem online, generally on Telegram, on Twitter, it's really coming through um, in person at the conference. So all super nice people, uh, you know, we have big supporters such as Devesh that came with Holy's family and, uh, you know, the rabbit and, and a bunch of other community members, Casper is here. I mean, it's, it's mind blowing to me, you know, really seeing this participation from the community and also uh, the developers. Speaking of the developers, then I think we probably, I'm going to touch on something that we're probably going to talk about later, but the Chidao guys are just incredibly, incredibly amazing. And they're putting up an, a hackathon uh, with no, you know, just, they just decided, I, mean, I suggested to do it, uh, to just do it. And they just did it. And um, they, they're putting up this hackathon that is incredible. We're going to talk about it uh, in a little bit. But generally speaking, I really suggest everyone 
next time to to come by because it's it's really the energy is incredible and actually last thing i suggested last night that maybe last year we should do it next year we should do it longer instead of doing five days four days of conference do two weeks of getting together teams getting together because that's a beautiful part people that never met in person in um, you know before and getting together and you know just brainstorm and do stuff together and then you know maybe also leave a little you know a couple of days for the conference but i would say the getting together part is the best one so this is probably one of the most like luxurious countries i've ever been to in my life for whatever reason these guys have that you know my wife will be happy to hear this i texted her and i'm like all right we're never going on an economy vacation again i've been completely spoiled for the rest of my life it's only first class from here on out because these guys in abu dhabi man they know how to roll it's insane so the amount of people that i've been able to meet i mean I, i've got a list here just yeah for shits right so we've got casper uh, i got to meet danny right from popsicle yesterday super nice dude devesh i think you touched on him man he is like the most high energy guy he brought his entire family here he's going to be presenting tomorrow uh mike kong sam andre simone i got the opportunity to sit up on a panel with these guys and you know one one thing i noticed about the phantom foundation and i don't know if like other crypto projects are like this but you guys are like some of the most humble uh people that i've ever met right like you talk to michael and he will just he doesn't care who you are if you want to sit and talk tech like he will sit there and talk with you for hours right just you know uh, yeah okay he's ceo of you know seven billion dollar cryptocurrency but but he'll just sit there and chat with you right like that's what i love about phantom i put a post up i'm like you know i've now met these people in person and i can see who's behind this guiding the ship and that gives me a lot of comfort knowing that this is the horse that i've attached to you know what i mean like i just i just kind of fell in love with this team uh, uh who else johnny phantom man anyone that doesn't know johnny phantom oh, he's man. like he's like my new best friend right he's an he's an admin in liquid driver he's an irish dude with a big beard i posted a picture of him the other day probably like one of the nicest people i've ever met in my life right uh who else do we got oh the art wallet guys of course daniel from yoshi i met uh some of the graviton guys the just yours guys ivan from zoo is here and i've basically been attached at the hip with the spirit swap team also man they are just like some of my favorite people huge stuff coming up but that's the stuff that's what we get in person right and those are the connections that we just can't even really make over telegram or even over like a live stream like this necessarily it's the it's the conversations that come up in person and we have scream dev and dr liquid that are arriving about 10 30 tonight that are going to join the crew so this is huge deal it's huge synergy that we're making here and that's really like the alpha that i want to drop on you guys is just sit back and let it evolve watch what happens it's going to be huge right so let's all right let's keep this going daniel i want to hear about yeah. yoshi man uh, I got some deep alpha on you earlier today. Actually, it was Rob that told me uh, about from Spirit Swap about uh, this potential fiat on ramp that uh, you yeah. guys are working on. Give us the details, man. Okay. Um, to the, tomorrow, I will have a speech also on Phantom DC at uh, eleven twenty a.m. So join us uh, whoever is present so uh about the some spoiler about what i will talk about tomorrow uh, we are a dex aggregator yes so we are not competing with all the dex uh, projects that are already present on the phantom ecosystem because we're aggregating all this stuff and our smart contracts automatically chooses the best price when there's a swap process going on but uh this is just a small detail of uh, what we have prepared because um we were in Phantom Lake for years, uh, and we know that the main problem when the newcomers are going into the Phantom ecosystem, they have a question of how should I buy, for example, Phantom Token, or they're going to a Spirit Swap, how do I buy for Spirit Token, or there are lots of projects, you know. So we decided uh, to create a payment system inside our DAX aggregator to let the users buy uh, token natively by banking card. So there is a uh, usual DEX uh, swapping process when choose USD, when you choose the token you want to buy, for example, Phantom or Yoshi or whatever it is, and then you add your banking card credentials. Uh, if there is a transaction more than 1000 uh, USD, you should uh, surpass a KYC, of course, because there are rules. Uh, but uh, 
voila, you will get your tokens on your MetaMask wallet, uh, for example, or other wallets we have integrated with. And uh, also we have a great uh, widget form integration because um, there's a problem when some token, uh, they release uh, their token and their community, they don't know how to buy this token. So we provide this um, uh, widget form to be integrated easily. You can uh, you uh, you can watch our Yoshi Dead Exchange website uh, widget uh, page, and you see how it's easy to integrate. You can set up all this uh, widget and uh, use it. And uh, third-party DEXs also can integrate. So this is uh, just a bit. So uh, I will tell more tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I'm happy, guys, you uh, to join you today on the stream because. We have a lot of stuff going on. We have on Sunday, a lot of work. So nice to see you all. Man, Daniel, thank you so much for being here, buddy. I really appreciate that. And I, dude, I'm so fired up for your launch. Simone, I saw you lean towards the mic there, buddy. What do you got? Yes. No, no, Daniel, apologies for not meeting today. Uh, it, it was just crazy. So let's uh, let's catch up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah let's meet tomorrow. <laughs> just, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure, just, sure. just if you see me around, just come up to me. I mean, my, my Telegram is is insane. So let let's try to coordinate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're chatting in Telegram through. with someone today. Yeah, sorry yeah. for interrupting internet. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. <laughs> yeah, we were anyway, chatting with so... with Simon in Telegram today. Like, where are you? Where can I catch you? Because a lot of people, a lot of chatting going on. So yeah, I hope to meet you tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. I love yeah. it. And Justin, you handsome son of a bitch. Welcome to the show, man. Hope Did you get some coffee? I got coffee. My bank called me. I'm going to have a home soon, which will be cool. Oh, uh, congrats, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just commenting on what you were saying, Yoshi, like uh, having like that front end support, like widgets and stuff like that. Like right now, a lot of what we have to do if we want something like that is we need to recreate the whole Uniswap front end and integrate it into uh, our website. But um, that's a really good idea. Uh, like just improving developer UX is uh, what people need to think about because that's how you get integrations and more use. So that's really exciting um, for sure. I'm a Yoshi enjoyer. No. He's a Yoshi <laughs> enjoyer. Not everyone should know. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi and Kirby, those are two get, of my... You know? Yeah, those are two of my big know. ones. Oh and man, you, just, you, you you really nice to hear you guys. Hmm. Nice to hear you guys. What's that, Simone? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, Justin. Really, you really had to come, but you know, next time you you cannot miss this. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I feel so sad, like watching everybody have fun. Um, I wish, like, yeah. I don't know. I just, uh, I've never like really had enough money to travel before. So I've never needed a passport. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was like one of my lifelong dreams to speak at a conference and give like a really long, elaborate, beautiful, uh, talk about some stupid technical thing that everybody will fall asleep during. Um, but, uh, alas next year for sure. Uh, yeah. If I don't go next year, I give you all a license to kill me. Um, Perfect. So well, Hey, yeah. Bebus. I got some good news for you, buddy. Uh, you know, Harry uh, bought Keynote, essentially, right? So January yeah. in Miami, get your ass down there. I'm going to be renting the Phantom Mansion. I already got <laughs> approval from my wife to do this. I know. I'm, I'm sorry that I have to do that, but I do. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time. So Miami in January, y'all just block out the whole month, man. We got some stuff going okay. on in Miami. Okay. <laughs> just be ready. It's all happening. All right. Okay. Beautiful. So so what I want to share with you guys is so Harry shared with us that he uh, took out he leased 20,000 square feet of office space here. Right. And he's got, you know, for anyone that doesn't know, he runs a couple of hedge funds, which means he's got a big team that is pretty much completely laser focused on phantom and phantom projects. Right. So he's setting up a hub here in Abu Dhabi. And he even said he might get a second floor uh, potentially. Right, no, I mean, you got, you got it already. It's two floors. It, what do you guys oh think my. about this? What? I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, so what I want to share with you guys, what the kind of the impression I got from this is, not only are there big brains 
behind this ecosystem, right? But there are big, very capable teams that are working together to ensure that, that we're going places, right? To ensure the growth and the safety of the network. This is, this is big stuff, man. I don't know. Do you guys have any opinions on this? I, getting to know Harry, you know, Harry walks around with, with bodyguards, right? Like Harry's like something like the, his McLaren mm -hmm. pulled out up front. That's like got the candy paint. Like it was a serious, you know, a couple of Lambos parked out in front of the hotel. Then no joke with Harry. I just want to let y'all know. So uh, a tomb or something there's I a tomb Lambo. A there's a purple tomb Lambo out there with a skull right on the hood. That oh, dude's damn. like flex is flex. That guy's like has layers <laughs> and layers of like elaborate, you know, flexing. It's really kind of crazy. And like him, he himself, like he just wears like, I don't want to say a simple suit because it's obviously very luxurious, but he's really like toned down, like business. But like all around him, there's just an aura of like money. Money. It's pretty uh, neat. He's a he's an interesting guy. Yeah, Harry is is really. Um, I mean, he's amazing, right? He's over the top, and we're very very <laughs> lucky, I believe, to. To have someone like him at uh, Phantom, because you know he's really doing, you know, besides all the sort of, you know, the, the the flashy part, but he's doing a lot of work in the background, right? Really introducing us to, um, you know, either projects or uh, important. Um, how can I define them? Let's say teams such as Fireblocks, right? So Fireblocks recently integrated. Phantom mainnet, and they will integrate also, they, they will allow their users to use Phantom dApps directly from their, you know, interface, whatever they, whatever they have. So that allows institutional investors to, you know, uh, use the Phantom network without leaving the security and the safety of Fireblocks. That's just one example, but he's doing tons of these things and my phone is ringing <laughs> so, so one second i'll pick it up and uh and then i'll okay. continue yeah you guys can all right do it. tell them i'm not here oh, you know you're on chain that's <laughs> harry yeah. yeah. i hear you talking about us oh man but yeah so awesome uh, awesome I, I have one quick quick shot about uh, this uh, abu dhabi hub i think that uh, decentralized finance marketing becoming uh, geographically centralized and it is great because when you are doing such a great uh, work about like to converting crypto market into decentralized finance you should join each other you should join your teams together because it is really a hard work to be done it is really a uh, great opportunity for us to join and to enhance phantom ecosystem and it could be done only if we like um, if harry uh, will boost all this uh, abu dhabi hub stuff i guess it's a great idea and as you have told uh, today, Abu Dhabi is a great place, a luxurious place, like to to talk. Like everyone will see, uh huh. It is Abu Dhabi. We will make uh, like uh, the good stuff here. So, yeah. yeah, and that's kind of why we're all moving in together. The whole uh, Bite Nations team, the Reaper Farm team. Um, we like we're, when you're trying to do research, uh, like as a group, as a unit, and each of you have different skill sets. Doing that over Zoom and Discord, like there's only like you can only get so productive. Um, and then once you come together, like that's when the magic happens, uh, I think. And that's like really cool on Harry Ye's part. And then having like that financial driver behind all the like what I've noticed about Phantom is like really technical people love Phantom. Like people with ideas love Phantom. Um, and part of that is because Andre founded it. Part of that is because you know, it is way faster and more performant than Ethereum. So all the stuff you wish you could do on Ethereum, you can do here. Um, and, you know, those people with ideas need need someone like Harry Ye who can just be like SoftBank and just throw a bunch of money at everything and see what sticks. Um, and I think that's really, really, really valuable. Um, and, you know, it being in Abu Dhabi is kind of, kind of baller. So <laughs> that's cool. YouTube comments, this is live. We yeah, we're shooting live, boys. <laughs> They're literally on the screen. <laughs> this seems to be pre-recorded. Pre yes, it's definitely pre-recorded. <laughs> so, so one thing said, about... Simone, breathe if, if uh, Boo's going on Binance or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, th there's thing... actually one more thing that I wanted to say in practice. What this uh, two floors uh, of Harry office space means exactly, right? 
it's it, Harry is so generous that he's put in these two floors, and it's two floors. I mean, twenty thousand square feet. It's giant, two giant floors, um, overlooking. I mean, it's a you know, very high floor overlooking uh, Abu Dhabi. Um, he's putting these two floors at disposal of the Phantom ecosystem, meaning that if you're a team building on Phantom, you just can go there whenever you want. You know, of course, you know. You know, introduce yourself first, but you know <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty much the idea. So, kind of similar to what Justin was saying, right? So, teams can you know decide, hey guys, let's go you know to Abu Dhabi for a month. Let's get together and not worry about office space and most of most of the you know a lot of other things. So, you will really be taken care of as much as possible. This is true both for uh, us, you know, the Phantom Foundation uh, team possibly, you know, can can go there, but also, again, people and teams building on Phantom. And, you know, once again, once you create those, that sort of in-person synergy that you, Austin, were talking about before, you know, something really uh, special happens that it's kind of hard to create otherwise. Yeah. I'm excited to, like, call up, like, the Scream team and say, hey, let's collaborate on something. And be like, okay, how should we do it? And then be like, Maybe we should go to Dubai. Uh, <laughs> well, if you go to Dubai, you won't be at the office, but Abu Dhabi's got it. <laughs> oh, Abu, is Abu Dhabi not the same as Dubai? Uh, oh, it's like Florida is to Georgia, <laughs> right? Yeah. Is they're... it like St. Paul and Minneapolis? No, no, no. Two different states, right? So it, they're each considered to be emirates, right? Within the United okay. Arab Emirates, like the United States, right? I, I had to be corrected on that a few anybody. times. Ooh. I'm pissed at yeah. you right now, dude. I am so Abu angry Dhabi, Dubai. That you did that? So one thing I do want to mention, right? So the, correct me if I'm wrong, Simone, was it the crown prince who attended? Um, and then also the ambassador to Barbados was here? Correct, yes. Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. so his the connections with Abu Dhabi are very, very, they seem to be very, very deep, right? And it's a, it's a welcoming uh, place for innovation, right? So that's, you know, when if Harry's going to show up somewhere and make an investment like that, you can bet he's done his due diligence on you know the, to make sure that there's a soft landing and and you know i've come just from the few days that i've gotten to know him like he's a very smart guy like he he knows what he's doing uh, and he's got very smart people around him so um real quick i just want to ask why is venom finance such a scam uh they're completely trolling our our comments so i just want to go ahead and troll them back oh, anyone that yeah, puts, puts been, money into oh. venom finance is completely gonna lose it so uh never put money into venom finance all right let's keep going um so this one <laughs> <laughs> this one was important you killed them so guys there's, there's a there's a hackathon happening right now uh and this is with the cheetah slash my finance guys and harry so it officially launched uh, yesterday, and it initially launched with a $15,000 bounty on it, right? Uh, and so they've they've got a couple of channels set up in the FTM Alerts Discord, $15,000 bounty. Harry comes in last night and he goes, bro, those are rookie numbers. We got to pump those numbers up. He probably did mm -hmm on his chest. <laughs> and he, said, he said, let me throw a million bucks at that thing, right? So that's what Harry did. So now we got a million dollar bounty going on. And what they're looking for is uh, essentially a dashboard i think is is specifically what he was said he was looking for am i right simone on that yeah it's a it's um basically the bank sort of thing with also uh centralized exchanges integration and um the, the main use will be for um hedge fund managers vcs and so on to have all the you know to kind of monitor all the positions in one place and to share um, you know, the status at any point with their uh, LPs and, uh, I mean, limited partners and, um, yeah, and so and customers and so on. So it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And uh, I mean, besides the, of course, the, you know, Harry's touch, the $1 million, once again, the, the Chidao guys, you know, Kila is, uh, I don't know, that guy is just incredible. They've been with actually him and uh, another guy, I forgot his name. Uh, they've been until, you know, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you know, all night preparing this, uh, this hackathon and the details and all that. It's just unbelievable. So, I mean, yeah. Thank you. Guys. I assume he was with Pablo, right? Wasn't, wasn't Pablo the other guy that was with Kila? Am I wrong? I don't remember. I know Benjamin didn't make it. He's, he's the guy. He, I did a live stream with Benjamin and, and Kila. Anyhow, that cheat out team is banging, man. They're, yeah, I love those they're, guys. They're on point. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got Justin connected guys. with them. Uh, for the Hacktober, it's it's generally um, the build prompt is generally to build anything that would improve the Phantom ecosystem. I think 
dashboard was an example, but it's pretty wide. Like you can kind of like even if you've been working on something for a while, as long as uh, you build on it now, um, like you have some sort of changes now and then you submit it, um, it, it should be OK. I think it's also NFTs, gaming, could be DeFi, but um, guys, get out there. That's a million bucks. If you're I, I know there's what 242 people watching, something like that. Um, if you're building or you are in the process of building something on Phantom, you're still working on it, get it done for the uh, hackathon. Please do. Um, I think it's what, two more days now uh, to the end of uh, the conference. So get out there, guys. It's A, a million dollars is a lot of freaking money. Ah, I just thought I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. they extend it out Ooh. to the 31st, though? I think we actually have oh, 31st. Uh, like yeah. four, more, four more days. So if you want more information, yeah, head over to the FTM Alerts Discord, discord.gg forward slash FTM Alerts. You're going to see hackathon channels in there. You can get all the information in there. You can chat with Keela. Uh, he will get you He will get you hooked up. Thank you, Rob. Rob from Spirit Swap says, yes, it was Pablo. Okay, cool. All Maybe right. I'm never going to so, sleep. <laughs> you, you, you really shouldn't man you should get jet lagged <laughs> like the rest of us um hey, you know uh, so uh some unfortunate news literally just happened uh cream was flash loan did you see this justin i know you just woke up bro but, but yeah cream got got yeah hit i mean i i get that stuff too. <laughs> and uh so leo I believe his name is Leo from Cream. Uh, was supposed to supposed to speak here tomorrow. You know that's that's a real unfortunate one. I don't want to spend too much time on that because we're getting hyped today. Uh, but yeah. It, yeah. it was definitely worth worth mentioning. Do you know you guys know exactly what happened there? I think it was Flash Loan, uh, right? It's flash Loan, yeah. I would assume it has to do with the Iron Bank. Hopefully, it was a, a white hat hacker, uh, and he just returns all the funds. Because when you white, you don't think so, Simone? No, no. I'm oh, me. Simone has connections. No, no, no. I just no. Cause a friend of mine was striking the, the the funds. He put them in curve, and then uh, swapped them for BTC, and uh, you know that's it. I ran BTC mm. actually. So, I, yeah. I Interesting. One thing I do want to mention. So uh, I know a lot of people think Scream is a fork of Cream, and it is not. Despite what the name sounds like, it is a fork of Compound V2. So uh, I don't know the ins and outs of this because I'm not the tech guy, but I just wanted to mention that for anyone that was thinking, oh, Scream. Scream's yeah. cool, man. Uh, in fact, Scream Dev is on his way to Abu Dhabi right now. Going to be hopefully having some dinner with him uh, after this live stream gets over. So um, nice. moving on. So yesterday, you know, Harry, I've heard Harry talk a lot at this conference, and he's an excellent speaker. And something that I, I really didn't expect, but I probably should have had I thought it through, was how much passion Harry was going to bring about tomb finance. So he <laughs> has really, he hasn't just taken over tomb. He has got an entire team that is dead focused on nothing but tomb finance. He is uh, getting, he wants tomb to be almost like the phantom is to wrapped phantom. He wants that tight of a peg to be on tomb, essentially to open up liquidity to the phantom ecosystem. And I'll be honest with you, man, hearing him talk about it, I kind of feel like he can do it. Like I, as crazy as that sounds, no gatekeeper involved. I, I don't know, it, it, it's, a, it's a lofty ass goal, right? It really, really is. But man, Harry's doing something special with tomb. Does anyone have any opinions on that? He's once like, if the market draws down, he's gonna have a battle on his hands. But the thing is, because it's pegged to Phantom, it's easier to peg during a drawdown than a stable coin. Um, so if anybody can do it, I've been saying this since the day he took over, that Harry Ye can. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of having infinite money, uh, which it seems he has just about. Well, like um, he just has to buy time uh, as he adds stuff to the, uh, the protocol, which you yeah. can see he's in the process of doing. Um, you can yeah. see the T-share prices going to the moon. I know he's been dropping stuff from the Tomb Discord. You know, I can't see it. If you could unban me, someone there watching. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. you leave you out. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of alpha there. So, like, uh, uh, he's really doing some stuff with the token. And, and like, if you're on the platform or using it, you're happy. You missed out. You're kind of like, uh, you know what I mean? But uh, Harry, man, he's killing it. On all regards, but yeah, tell them to unban some of us that actually used to say that. <laughs> Hit up Coma, man. Coma can get you out of there. He's got you. <laughs> yeah, Harry's awesome. Um, 
it's just like people are used to developers taking over projects and stuff. They're not used to like real finance guys taking over projects. And we're in DeFi. So when someone with like a one billion dollar plus balance sheet decides to take over a project like that, you just need to like sit back. You know, it, it's uh that that is what you need to keep a project like that going is you need a massive balance sheet behind it that can buy it back up to peg and keep incentives really high um and i'm excited to see what he comes out tech comes out with technology wise um you know uh yeah if anybody can do it i've been saying this since day one harry yay can do it um and uh it's cool that he brought it back we were like the only like platform that stayed supporting tomb because i kind of knew something like this would happen I didn't know it would be so fast, um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it's uh, he, he's doing a good ass job on everything. That guy's a dynamo for real. It's crazy. Hell yeah. All right. So I think we lost Daniel, but I don't think we lost him. He actually told me he had to drop off. I know, Simona, yeah. you got to drop have, off at some yeah, point to too, in, right? In a couple of minutes. So all right, I, will all right. just, I will just shut off at some point. Yep, you're cool, man. No worries at yeah, all. Yeah, but so, I'll see you tomorrow, Austin. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, well, you might see me tonight. We're going to be over there. Tonight. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you a little bit later. So I want to talk about the Scream Monster Hunt real quick. Um, oh, hey, there's Daniel. Hey, Daniel. I thought you might have had to drop off, buddy. Yeah. No, 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 no. Internet is good. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. No, nah, that's, that's I'm okay. Back. I know you told me that you had to roll. So if you got to, no worries, man. No worries. So um, we all love the Scream team around these parts. Oh, we got some lag there for sure with Daniel, unfortunately. Oh, I think we lost him again. Anyhow, let's start. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we've got some lag on there, Daniel. Unfortunately, buddy. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's talk about the Scream uh, monster hunt for a second. So for anyone that that you know remembers the og original monster hunt uh it was just a whole bunch of crazy riddles and if you solve the riddles you got this pastel ticket and the pastel ticket uh enabled you to like pre-purchase some scream tokens so you're ready to farm and it was very small amounts they have created it's essentially going to be from my understanding a scavenger hunt and it's going to be a scavenger hunt that takes place inside of a minecraft server that has been completely reworked uh with all sorts of halloween themed stuff i mean the amount of work so he told me about this i think six or seven weeks ago like a long time ago well i know i know it was before phantom dc even got announced because he had he had asked me to do a live stream you know kind of just going through all the stuff so unfortunately that won't be happening because i'm going to be on a plane but uh dude this is intense man and this is just like part of the the phantom spirit that i love right i mean it will promote cream uh, scream whoa in the meantime but like that's not really his intention with this you know he's doing something to bring the phantom community together man and that's something that i think is really really unique to our little ecosystem any thoughts on that guys uh i'm a big uh, fan of i wish i had more time to play minecraft <laughs> like i did when i was a kid because i would i would dominate on the minecraft beast that was the original uh i don't know who the popular minecraft guys are now but i was the original one of those just kidding so okay. so there's steve i know this because my little 10 year old daughter super nice steve oh nice and, and alex which i thought were two dudes but apparently alex is a girl so hmm. you know i didn't know now i know i saw a little a little figurine of uh alex and it's a chick i think <laughs> yeah so, all right either or b square <laughs> for sure what is that uh i like if you have minecraft um you can join in uh so give you the server info i guess right before at the 29th of october um yeah, and I just want to pwn some noobs, so get there. I can beat you guys up, and I get the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Simone to download Minecraft. Dude, Work I can't even force myself to do it. Uh, guys, guys, it's worth I it. Wish, it's worth I wish it. I really like what, what the Scream guys are doing, but yeah. <laughs> I need to listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're a classic. Rusty gaming bones. All right, let's keep this going. So if you guys remember, we had this, the team from Summit on, uh, I think, two or three episodes ago, right? And what they were launching was a DeFi platform, traditional yield farming with a twist, right? And that twist is 
you can take the earnings that you've earned and pick what they call totems, right? When those totems go head to head with one another and you have the ability to, it's kind of like you're taking your returns and you're throwing them in a casino real quick and you might get a return back. And I got a little piece of alpha today, which I hope I can share. Hopefully I'm not like blowing up. I'm gonna share it because Simone and I are both here. Uh, did the Summit guys reach out to you, Simone? Yes, they By did. Yes. Did they tell you uh, kind of some plans that they have in the works? So uh, yeah, let me check. Uh, <laughs> let me check on Telegram. Uh, all right, all right. I don't, yeah. Nah. So there he is. All right. So I, I'm not blowing up his spot. Thanks, bro. I'm glad you're here. So uh, they're going to be launching Simone and Austin Totems, <laughs> and we are going to be going head to head on the Summit D5 platform tomorrow. So I'm going to be super pushing for that Austin team. Uh, I don't, I don't have high hopes of winning, but, uh, I think that's going to be <laughs> freaking cool, man. I really like what these guys are doing. I don't know how much, uh, Yankee you're in the, you're in the audience. So maybe you can answer this real quick. What's your TVL at right now? It's 30, 35 million, somewhere in there partnerships with, uh, uh, spooky swap. I know they're doing some stuff with, with Harry and the tomb team. Cause they've got some tomb stuff who will get the crown. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I really, really just like these guys. Uh, I think they've got a really cool ass platform. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. They're do they're dope. Um, well, in Austin, uh, apologies for interrupting. I have to good. leave at this point. And right. um, yeah, dude, thanks for Thank coming, you. Simone. Of course, man. <laughs> and next time you should come too. And everyone that didn't come, you know, please come. <laughs> yeah and, uh, i will <laughs> okay so thank you guys and johnny johnny phantom will see you soon uh, i'll be down in 20 minutes all right <laughs> Simone, i'll see you later <laughs> buddy bye guys right. bye bye later, all. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so so let's you know uh, summit was in development for and you remember we had architect and yankee on here uh, i think you talked to architect a little bit afterwards beavis like they were in development for a long time there it is 32 million uh tvl they've put some work in man i am i am fired up about these guys so let's keep moving on and then we can we can hop over to the comments and you know shoot the shit about whatever's <laughs> clever so <laughs> olympus pro is coming to phantom uh this is confirmed uh they will be working with the spirit swap team uh we hopefully now the initial deadline or time frame that i heard for them launching uh was halloween i don't know if that's still the case but that's four days away what do you guys know about this man what are the this differences is between well, Olympus Pro is like a, uh, something is, am I wrong about the, Is it something different than the regular Olympus? Yeah. Justin? So Olympus Pro, basically it is a way for, uh, projects to create Olympus style bonds with their tokens, which basically means it's essentially Uniswap, except you get a better deal over a five day period by like, you know, a few percent. Um, so they're operating on Uniswap's curve. Uh, you put in money, you get this bond back, and you're basically buying bonds off of this off of this Uniswap curve, um, and uh, those bonds uh, will issue, um, or you you can trade them for uh, like the native token of, of whatever project is doing it, or, or the payout token. So you're putting down liquidity tokens for that protocol, and they are trading you in their native token. Uh, over a period of five days in emissions. And then you're getting a slightly better deal, uh, but they get to keep your liquidity. Um, we audited their contracts uh, last week, Friday. Um, the, uh, we were thinking about using them uh, to launch our token. Um, we decided against it, uh, but it is a, a pretty neat system. Um, it's like uh, very complicated. Um, and I will say like, unless you're really lucky with the timing, it is kind of a worse deal than just buying off Uniswap. Um, but it does like kind of give you, um, uh, it's, it's a really interesting way to acquire liquidity as a protocol. And you can get a really good deal if you uh, watch uh, and, and, you know, take care of arbitrage opportunities. But it's like another exchange basically, um, where you're trading with the protocol instead of another user or a liquidity pool. Are the LPs locked though? Am I, am I, I swear I heard something about that, that yeah. essentially takes your funds, locks those LPs up and that's it. Like you've now. No, it doesn't lock them up. It sends, it, it's a, literally a trade between like, let's say spirit swap. You are trading your LP tokens to spirit swap for a chunk of spirit tokens over a period of five days. 
Um, and, and they're literally using the Uniswap bonding curve. Um, so it's just like, they're giving you a little extra on top of that um, it, by waiting for the five days. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it makes a lot more sense in the context of existing projects than it does necessarily for Ohm itself. Um, so I think it's a really good direction they're going with this. Um, and it is a, a really interesting tool. It basically gives LP tokens liquidity. Um, but the tough thing is you can only trade it for uh, one of the underlying tokens anyway. So it'll be interesting to see where they go uh, with the platform. Uh, but it's basically Uniswap, except you're trading with the company, uh, your LP tokens. And yeah, they're gone. So it's, it's a straight up trade. Um, and you get a little more than you would on uh, Uniswap. Um, but like the way it's set up is, it's just another thing. It's not anything like super duper crazy. Um, it's just a way for users to get involved with your platform uh, or an additional way. So I just want to clarify, is it spooky or spirit? Because I saw a tweet from, I forget who the guy is saying, inshallah. I don't know if he's Muslim or what, but he said spooky cohort on Phantom Foundation. Is it like both spirit? It's probably a bunch of people. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, it's probably, it, it's probably like five, six, seven people. They were, I know they were messaging every developer on the network pretty much trying to get, uh, and I mean, like they charge like on top of that, like a 3.3% fee, um, which is like, a lot so like uniswap it's traditionally 0 0.2 um so anybody that wants to get involved with that definitely do your research um it is a really interesting kind of financial uh, primitive that they're making um but it is again just a trade like on uniswap so yeah. it's easy to get a bad deal so just you know watch the markets and make sure that you're uh getting an adequately priced token and watch for arbitrage opportunities because that will be how to profit uh, from the situation. Yes, also liquid driver as well as um, involved, right? So, mm -hmm. so well, what liquid driver did, so they recently just passed a proposal to allocate some LQDR uh, to the Ohm treasury to buy, uh, what, what the heck did they do? Allocate LQDR for Olympus Pro bonding program. So what, what Dr. Liquid told me is they want to own their own LP, right? Right now, yeah. all the LP within liquid driver belongs to the people that deposited. Do you know anything about this, Justin? Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, you are sending tokens to that contract to become the counterparty for those trades. Um, so basically, if I have a million tokens and I put them in there, users can trade for those million tokens on that curve. Um, and then that curve is pretty adjustable um, so that they can kind of adjust the amplitude or, or adjust the curvature. Um, but basically, uh, you are trading your liquidity tokens um, for their native token. Um, and that's why they send the liquidity there. They're basically providing liquidity for the system. And then it's like, they they just fashioned the Uniswap curve into like a bonding system um, that is pretty much like a more complicated version of trading on Uniswap where you can maybe get a better deal but it's really expensive for liquid driver to do that. So you're paying a lot for like marketing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you, they're just providing the counter liquidity so that users can trade their liquidity tokens for it. And then basically for the length of the program, um, users will just be buying that million liquid driver or whatever um, with their LP tokens. And then the, the treasury of liquid driver having traded all of their tokens for it will own um, that that uh, pile of LP tokens, and that'll be in their treasury. And that way you have guaranteed liquidity um, in the system and you don't have to depend too heavily on users. It's just a good way to uh, trade your users for some of that liquidity um, so that you can you know control it, um, which can be really, really useful. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the long and short of it. All right, word. So, so last night I was hanging out with uh, this dude Josh, right? Who's one of the guys from Just Yours, uh, who you know <laughs> Harry, Harry loves Just Yours, right? And in and unfortunately in Abu Dhabi, that sort of thing is completely banned. So he could not like give up give a presentation uh, about Just Yours, which is a you know it's like a an OnlyFans built on Phantom. Yeah. What I, what I loved about this guy, you know, he was tying one on, he was having a good time, and he was giving out bikinis. So he was like asking every dude, "Hey, would you like a bikini?" Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then <laughs> and then the best line of the night is he would go he would go just does not market our token and then he'd lean over to the guy next to him and go have you bought just yet like the dude, it was the funniest thing i was just losing my shit over this dude man he was amazing though and i'm probably going to see him later on this evening uh so we've kind of gotten to the end here but i want to i want to just give some final thoughts on what I've experienced while being at Phantom DC. And it's been, you know, for a guy like me, man, I did, you know, I was laying in bed one night and I go, I think I'm gonna flip my Twitter account over to an alerts channel and see what happens, right? And that was back in March. And from that day to getting up on a stage with Andre Cronier and Simone and Mike Kong and Sam, a lot has happened, you know, from that point to this point, right? And a few things that I've learned is that we're in really, really good hands with the Phantom team. Right. They have gone through some major, major changes. Um, you know, at first they had they ran into a lot of issues with the uh, the Korean team that initially started Phantom. And they'll tell you this it's not a secret. Um, but through those problems, they've grown a lot and they've produced like a really very real network. And I've been exposed to a ton of projects that have have built or are building on Phantom that nobody knows about. Right. They're here, but you guys just don't know about them yet. And they're going to come up. The people behind these projects, you know, I had never re like really encountered crypto people before. I, I, you know, this is like my the first real conference that I'm getting to where I'm going to know people and people are going to know me. And I will tell you something, I came here and everybody does, right? We've got this idea of what a ceiling is. And it used to be the ceiling was like 50 cents, you know, and it used to be the ceiling was a dollar. And the other day we sure as hell weren't going to, you know, uh we sure as hell weren't gonna break three dollars right and i'm sitting back here and i'm getting this full bird's eye view of this environment and really what just what comes to mind is just get comfy here you know this is not financial advice but phantom is something that's building for the long long term uh we're not just a flash in the pan it's not just harry pumping the price 40 cents it's not just an <laughs> announcement that's coming tomorrow you know which which may give us a big green candle and it may give us a big red candle next to it so don't buy because of that but if you're in this ecosystem and you are you know if you've got the 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 phantom index fund in your wallet right uh I think you're betting on a good horse, man. I really do. I mean, I've I've chosen to completely dedicate my working hours to to seeing the Phantom ecosystem grow, and I think I've made a good choice. And after meeting the people, I know I've made a good choice, right? So, um, the the real blue chips that stick out for me for anyone that's new, you've got Spirit, you've got Spooky. Um, if you're Justin, you've got USDC. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, we've got Liquid Driver. Uh, with Harry backing Tomb and T shares, I can tell yeah. you just the impression I get from him is failure is not an option. That's really how yeah. I feel when I hear him talk about Tomb and T shares, right? Um, yeah. You know, and Yoshi's coming up. There's a lot of cool new projects that are building on Phantom. And please, and Taro, I absolutely love Taro. Um, Beethoven yes. X. Oh, Beethoven, <laughs> my boys over at Beats, man. I absolutely Beating. love Beethoven. Yeah, the Beats guys, uh, Grim. Uh, much to much to Justin's chagrin is uh, completely kicking ass yeah. that team over there. <laughs> He's no, always just I'm, just, to I'm say, seriously dude. just kidding. I'm seriously just kidding. I know. Really like well, they actually really like you, and I and I'm pretty sure you really like them. And I kind of feel like it's one of those Andre t Twitter wars where like they're fighting, and on the back end they're like, "Hey, dude, you want to like go fuck with people?" Ooh, excuse my language on uh, on Twitter. You know what I mean? Like I kind of think. Yeah, that's it's fun. It I mean, we'll we'll at one point like almost fully like. I would rather they succeed than beefy, honestly. Uh, you know, at one point we'll like totally hand the uh, auto compounding torch to them. Um, so, you know, I just like, I'm so critical because I just want them to, you know, uh, have really high standards for themselves. Um, because I know from, from the people on their team that I've talked to, I know they have that sort of power. Um, and they're just like, you know, I hope they're not burning out right now because they go fast. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we really do like those guys, but I will continue talking shit indefinitely. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just how it is. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Georgie... Grim, avoid the Reaper token, the Grim token. Uh, <laughs> Georgie says, well, there's an FTM index fund. No, there's not. Uh, what I was calling the FTM index. index fund was, yeah, well, yeah, you could kind of get one, right? Dance of the DGENs is getting retired. I think they're they're switching it over. But when I said FTM yeah. index fund, I just meant the blue chips, right? Are you holding the blue yeah. chips? That's and really just all hedge. I meant with that. 
Yeah. And just, just make sure you hedge intelligently um, so you don't lose your pants. Uh, but Phantom is like, for, for how risk averse I am, the amount of exposure I have to Phantom and the Phantom ecosystem like is huge uh, because I really, really, really believe in the people building on here. Um, and uh, Phantom is the only network with a clear and concise vision for the future that makes sense from a technical standpoint. Like you see all these projects with, you know, some VC business articles saying, oh, this is what we're gonna be in the future. And it's just a pure fantasy land. And, and Phantom is the only network apart from like Ethereum that has a clear, concise vision for their long-term future. And that is what is really, really important. And that is why I'm here. Um, and it's just, like you said, Austin, you just need to stick around and just yeah. hedge your money, you know, take profits when you need to, you know, sell the rips, buy the dips. You need to do that to support the network so we can, you know, get rid of all the volatility. Um, we need, we need everybody to help, you know, rise the tide. Um, I so feel like I should do that can, too. Uh, Everyone's doing it. All right. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> that um moon. Moon. Yeah, um, man. But yeah. It's uh yeah, just, like the just, announcer. <laughs> yeah. Uh go on go on Beethoven X and build a hedged liquidity pool or get in one of theirs for real. Um and you can get really granular with it. That's my oh. top recommendation. Reaper just moved we just moved like seventy five percent of our treasury there. Um so that we can react to the market without having to manage our assets actively. Um, so you just, you know, be smart, but Phantom seriously for the win. Like USDC, I'm a maxi of USDC on Phantom, you know? I don't care about <laughs> USDC elsewhere. Give me USDC on Phantom. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, um, I love this space and seeing everybody at Phantom DC having all that fun um, is awesome. And Harry Yeh, like, he could easily just dump, you know, he could easily just make a billion dollars, but he wants Phantom to become something that he doesn't need to dump. He wants it to be like a premium, premium, premium asset that he can just have in his wallet and be set for life. And that is kind of the really beautiful thing um, about having someone like that on our side. And he loves the tech, like he loves money, obviously, but you can tell when he talks that he has fun and he like, he loves the tech and he loves the game theoretical aspects of it. And that's why I love Tomb so much. Cause that's like all this, you know, all these DeFi ideas distilled into just a crazy, crazy protocol. So, you know, big thanks to Harry Yeh for putting on Phantom DC. It's like popping. Like he was like, give me every entertainer in Abu Dhabi. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he just like, you know, like really, really, really beautiful work he's doing. Um, you know, regardless of whatever is happening there, he, you know, wants everybody to, to be successful. Um, and thank you to him. And I hope one of you thanks him for me. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll, we I'll see him. I'll go give him, him a big uh, hug tonight. <laughs> his his bodyguards will tackle days. me, dude. Oh, we mention scream happen. all the time, bro. We literally yeah, have mentioned scream we, like a hundred times. You had a topic. You had a topic. Yeah, you yeah, can't come in like in last five minutes. <laughs> Forty minutes into it, be like, oh no, it's mentioned X Y Z. Yeah, scream. We love scream. <laughs> I'm gonna fire up Minecraft. I'm gonna kill all you freaking noobs. <laughs> it's gonna be so easy. We're gonna have all the Reaper apprentices. We're gonna build an army, and we're just gonna totally destroy you guys. Enough said. Dude, I want to share like a really unpopular opinion right now. We don't do need it. Coinbase. We don't need it. And At this it's point, not as really important don't. as you guys think it is, right? You guys think there's a, a huge listing pump coming with Coinbase. I got news I for you. More. There's not. Ooh, that is an old that's ass meme now. 2018, yeah. dude. We don't need yeah. Coinbase. Buy some USDC and bridge it for free. Boom. Yeah. Welcome to the network. Coinbase, Coinbase is showing Shiba token now. Like, yeah, it's Coinbase yeah. Sold has or become not. a a joke like Have finance is like they list all this shit, but at least they don't like it's not their pride and joy like you download coinbase it's like trade bitcoin ethereum shiba coin dogecoin and it's like <laughs> yeah the, the instant they went public they were like ah fiduciary responsibility we have an excuse to be idiots now um so but here's yeah. a meme coin buy it you know yeah. foo bear yeah. says ftm on coinbase man i got 
funds releasing on Saturday. I was going to go to AVAX, to MIM, to Phantom. Dude, go to Gemini. If you're in the States and you need a US-based exchange, go to Gemini. But here's the thing. If you buy Phantom and you go to Bridge Phantom, because that is a limited supply asset, right? Uh, that means it's not getting minted when you come over to the Phantom side. So there is a fee if you bridge Phantom. If you take USDC and mm -hmm. you bridge that, they mint the equivalent amount on the Phantom side, which means there's no fees for you. Just yeah. bring your USDC and buy Phantom over here. Enough said, man. You know, USDC, uh, USDC and Coinbase, like trade to USDC on the Phantom network, bridge to Ethereum, and put that USDC right in Coinbase. It takes 10 minutes. You know, I, I use that to, to put down money on our home um, or our rental. And it's like, you have all the tools you need. Um, just that's why I'm a USDC maxi because you can on ramp off ramp it with no fees on Coinbase. Yeah, Fubear, Gemini.com, Winklevoss twins. You can buy Phantom. Fiat yeah, on ramp. The Winklevoss oh, twins. There's like, also Transact, guys. I don't know if anyone still uses that, but Transact also yeah. has a Fiat on ramp. Yeah, and Yoshi I mean, soon, can, right? uh yeah. yoshi's going to have it i think you're gonna what's gonna happen is you can buy the native yoshi token but it will be on phantom yeah. um and then you can just take that out hopefully they and have deep liquidity yeah, yeah exactly yeah. just swap it out so yeah. there's a lot of ways you know and i guess so i realize we have a lot of people that are new to DeFi. you know i when i when i do these videos like i didn't it never really occurred to me that like the stuff that we learn as people that navigate the network is really like super valuable for people that are just learning you know um but there's there's a lot of ins and outs of this and so if anyone has like a topic that's like bothering you feel free to shoot me a dm on twitter i am always looking for new video ideas if i can help you i will give you a tutorial uh i will go shoot that and i just want to you know i want i gotta say something i don't want to get emotional over this but like a guy like me doesn't get to live a life like this you know this is not what i had in mind or what i even knew was possible for me seven or eight months ago you know my wife and i were we have three kids we were renting a place and we were struggling to pay rent right and from that day to this day has changed a lot and 99 percent of that is due to this phantom community that follows along that participates that allows me to be in this position where i can share with you guys right and i'm just super grateful uh, and i just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's watching like this is a huge life-defining moment for me to be a part of to meet Andre, to meet Mike, to meet Sam, to meet Simone in person. Like these are really, really good people. And I am beyond grateful and fired up to be a part of this community. And we're just getting Let's started. Go. Let's go, started. Austin. We've got, yeah. Let's We've go. got a collective thank you for you, dude. Like, dude, yeah, I got a little teary you're, there. You're, I'm happy to. Let's go. <laughs> you're the glue holding holding this community together for real. For sure. Um, I freaking watched one of your tutorials yesterday. Because I was trying to figure out how to get my ledger working on Phantom. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know Austin knows how to do this. And I just Googled it, and you were the first one. And I was like, yes. And I literally just sincerely watched the tutorial of yours and just walked through uh, using my ledger to, uh, to handle stuff on Phantom. So, like, what you're doing is, like, crazy, crazy useful. Like, uh, this is my job, and your stuff is useful. And you've just got, like, top to bottom, like, the best tutorials period any community like ethereum tutorials like it's all shilling and like sometimes it's like some like albanian dude like ah, bah, 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 bah. well that was not <laughs> a good thing to say but it's like i don't know you're you're just like you have some of the best content out there and like yeah no, 100%. without you like you're you're the lube that that keeps phantom yeah. going upward I, I don't you know just, if you know this, you just, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> you did you just like me a bro? You're the WD-40. You're, I mean, you're the WD-40, not like any weird stuff. You like, legitimately right. lower the barrier to entry for most people. Like me, yeah. I'll talk about my own story. April 30th, uh, you were like, yo, liquid drivers dropping or something around that time. Twitter contest. I had three followers. I was like, okay, awesome. I'm following Austin following phantom punks and i'm following liquid driver like that was it like we were just you were showing us new projects earlier on everyone was just like hey you need help on phantom follow this guy and and a lot of us really need to show you some love me personally for, for kind of leading and paving the way it's like you just kind of trench through it you know walk through the snow and left the easy path for most of us to just walk on and it and it's awesome man
Yeah. Everything you're like comes. all those dudes you're talking about, like Kong, Yay, all those guys, like you're right up there with them. Like, oh, don't man. think that like you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Like you to the Phantom community, you are literally smack dab right up there. So like, you know, walk in confidence. Like Harry Yay, like should be giving you a million dollars. Um, but uh yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> the best kind most premium <laughs> yeah like the, the really um, expensive like wd-40 black label uh, <laughs> uh, well thank you guys i appreciate y'all saying that man so we got to the end of the show i'm so fired up for tomorrow man hang on if you guys are watching live from home just buckle up um i yeah. know the time zone is weird man but but it should be good uh, don't buy just because some announcements coming Buy because you're in this thing with us. I will say dudes don't buy two floors of a building for no reason. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. take two floors to build tomb is all I've got to say. It does not take two floors to maintain tomb or handle, you know, your zoo investments, you know, it's for big we'll well, so he, you know, he's creating like a Y Combinator, like an accelerator program for Phantom projects. You want to launch on Phantom, get in, get in contact with Harry. If you have a unique, good idea that's going to add value to this network, he is willing to incubate you and help you launch, right? That's what he's doing. So awesome. And he's got 40,000 square feet overlooking Abu Dhabi. He's ready to put at your disposal. So, <laughs> so um, comfy, man. We so, yeah, so comfy. I mean, right now we're doing like, we're incubating developers um, and, uh, Hmm. All message Harry. Uh, but you yeah, should message Harry. Yeah, we're doing we're doing like technical incubation right now and trying to build out curriculum and stuff um, to get isn't like. It dope how... Oh, sorry, my bad. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, isn't it dope how they're incentivizing developers like and helping you out? It's awesome. It's it's huge. Like we could not do we could not hire all these developers and train them and onboard them without those incentives straight up. Um, so yeah, I mean. I was telling Chan, I was like, dude, this is huge. You know, if you guys ever need any services from us, hit us up. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like a money blessing from the sky. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the same goes to Harry Ye, you know. Uh, I, I, he's probably busy right now, but, um, you know, if he needs like development weight, uh, he should just hit us up uh, and we can provide technical assistance. Because um, we're trying to be the developer side of that. We're trying to build... Um, a development firm um and then just you know we're we're building for the long term i think like he is uh and maybe our technical expertise and his uh money expertise can fuse we'll see i'll, I'll talk to him but yeah yeah holler at him, cool I, you know stuff. from what i've heard about accelerators it is a lot about who you know right that is really you know the the complete package of what these guys the successful ones anyhow have put together uh so you know yeah. i'm sure he would he would be happy to Happy to chat with you. Bren Capital, Tomb's actually mooning. Yeah, Tomb probably will moon, dude. Like, uh, Tomb is no mooning. <laughs> Tomb moon. All right, I'm going to wrap this up, up, man. We, I got to get All some right. food, man. I'm freaking starving, dude. It's been a long day. I love you guys. My name's Austin with FTM Alerts with Justin Bebas and $24. We're going to get the hell out of here, and we will catch you guys on the next live stream. Take care, everybody. Peace out, Bye -bye. everybody.